Happy Saturday, everyone. It's the 21st of August, the Le Mans 24 hours about to get underway, and I'm back in the workshop with a selection of new tools that I've bought this week. And I thought it might be interesting to go through some of the tools that I've bought specifically for doing this project, because I had what I thought was a fairly comprehensive uh, set of tools, but that's for working on modern stuff. And working on older cars, I've found some pretty big deficiencies in my tool set. So I was gonna look over some of the stuff that I've bought for working on the Lotus. First and foremost, Imperial Spanner Set. Um, I've got multiple Spanner Sets, but they're all metric, so needed an Imperial one. So that was one of the first purchases. I'm a big fan of Halford's Advance stuff. Um, good enough quality for doing an, a proper amount of work uh, on the car, and they've got a pretty good policy when it comes to repairing any breakages that you have. Additional to that, I bought this brake spanner for the for the brake fittings on the car when I was trying to get the the hoses uh, out the out the master cylinders. So seven sixteenths one end, eleven thirty seconds the other. Sykes Pickett Van, you know, so it is a well known uh, tool company, but that is not a very well designed set of jaws and it splays quite easily. So not tremendously impressed with that, if I'm honest. Next up came impact sockets. More to the point, I wanted to get sockets that are six-sided sockets rather than 12, because when you're working on older bolts, etc., you want that extra peace of mind that comes from a six-side socket rather than using a 12-side socket. These are, in the UK anyway, fantastically difficult to get a hold of. So I've got this 3 8 set from Sealy. So that's got a 3 8 in it, half inch, 9 16 and 11 16 All of those working with a 3 8 driver. I then also bought this US Pro set. This is a far more expansive set. Obviously they're deep sockets as well, so that works out really well for doing the chassis bolts on the Lotus. We've got all the sizes there, 7 16 right through to I think inch and a quarter up at the other end. I'm really happy with the quality of them. The only thing about them is they're half inch drive, which means they're a bit big for some tasks. And on that note, I have half inch driver down there. I've used that for wheel bolts, etc. in the past on uh, the race cars that we're working on, but that's a touch violent, I feel, for some of the tasks on the car, on the Lotus. So a DeWalt quarter inch brushless driver. Also, I already had some DeWalt kits, so just stuck with them. The 18 volt version, good couple hundred newton meters of torque, if I remember correctly, on, on that one. And yeah, it's been meaty enough for most tasks uh, on the car. The only thing you need to do is obviously you're running an adapter the whole time to fit the sockets. So that brings me on to some of this week's purchases. So whilst I can make up an adapter out of my tool set, purchased one this week, Laser Tools adapters. So they slot in to the shank on the driver. This one, for example, being the 3 8 so straight in there. And now I can just attach 3 8 sockets straight into the driver. Next up, ball joint splitter and more aggressive ball joint splitter. That's for later on today when we're looking at splitting the suspension apart. Obviously, I'm going to be as gentle as I can be, but for things like this, give it a chance with the cup splitter. If I need to, I'll go in with the, the chisel splitter. Everyone knows I love a bit of middle aisle action, middle little four piece wire brush set. So you've got two steel and two brass brushes in that. $3.99 doesn't make sense not to buy it at that kind of price. For the knockoffs, I got this tool from a chap online. Um, that's his contact details there. You can find them on eBay. And this is an adapter for the spinners so that you can use a 38 millimeter socket with a torque bar to torque the spinners on the center of the wheel. I can't show you how that integrates because I've taken the spinners home to give them a clean up but that will be a really useful tool. Getting those off was an absolute nightmare of a job using a hammer and a wooden drift. And then obviously 
to match that. I don't have a 38mm socket, so I had to buy a 38mm socket to go along with that. One other additional purchase, yet another set of screwdrivers. I already have several sets of screwdrivers, but the difficult bit nowadays is getting just a classic, where is it, there we go, Phillips head, come on focus, crosshead screwdriver, that's not going to play ball, but yeah, just a standard crosshead screwdriver, rather than a posi drive screwdriver. When you're working on European or Japanese stuff, or well, really anything from about the 90s onwards, posi drive is, is everywhere, that's great, Torx screws as well, but when you're working on older cars, like I'm finding with a lot of the interior parts um, on the Lotus, it is proper crosshead Phillips screwdrivers, and posi drives just don't engage properly on them, and I don't want to screw, uh, screw up any screws uh, if I can avoid it.